seller has already allotted for this round. You'll probably do like three. Okay. Squeeze three in, huh? <laughs> I think we could squeeze three in. All right. Well, I'll do two, and then Jean can join me for uh, the last one. Well, as I mentioned earlier, I'm Mark Lyon, and I'm the MC for tonight. I'm also the organization secretary. <laughs> Well, we've just recently had St. Patrick's Day, and even though the holiday's over, it's still any, any time of the year is good for an Irish tune. So, I think I'll do this one. <clears throat> yeah, like, there's a real introduction. I think I'll do this one. You know, just show <laughs> I don't have a real good introduction, so I love it when they say, this one needs no introduction. Well, it really does, but I just haven't been able to think of one. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can pull this off. quite differently. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we were playing somewhere and I go for a muffin, he has to yodel. And I would say to the person, I gotta get back, he's yodeling again. <laughs> Sometimes instead of yodeling, I'll do a song like uh, Lizzie Borden. And she, the first time I ever did, Jean had the most horrified expression on her face. <laughs> well, especially when children came by. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna do this one. Inspire them. <laughs> yeah. What do they say? Don't accept any friend messages from Lizzie Borden because you might get hacked. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> oh okay. But um bump. <laughs> we really need that drum. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. This was a tune uh, 
by the, uh, the father of country music, Jimmy Rogers, the uh, singing brakeman. For years and years I ramble to write my wine and gamble, but one day I thought I'd settle down. I met a perfect lady, she said she'd be my baby. We built a cottage in the old hometown. volunteer coordinator, and we're always looking for volunteers, volunteer musicians to help uh, play at the homeless shelters and hospice places and other places where we can provide musical comfort to those in need. So if you're interested in volunteering for the organization, uh, please see Jean. She, uh, she handles all of that, and a mighty fine job she does too. Yes. Gina and I also have been singing together now for, you said, 18 years now, right? Yeah, yep. Sam was a newborn. She's going to be 18 in April, so. Yeah, <laughs> Actually going on 19 pretty soon. I think we first sang together, we first got together in April of 2000. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> well, wait, our first gig was she was a newborn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> sure, whatever. I just remember some lady yelled at me because she wasn't wearing a hat. <laughs> you ever notice how? Ever notice how people seem to think they have the right to interfere in the raising of children <laughs> of their own, and especially when they aren't parents themselves. It's like they read a book and they think they know how to raise children. Okay. Well, they have their own and learn better. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Jean and I uh, decided to collaborate on this old uh, Chris Christopherson tune, so. Take the ribbon from my head. You're wearing ribbons these days? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, uh, I've listened to Sam and Smith's version too much. Uh, all right, 
Let's try this again. Okay. Not that I'm implying anything or anything like that. <laughs> entertainment for your events, uh, <coughs> drop us a line, send us an email or a Facebook message, or give us a call. Mm -hmm. All right, who's our next actor? Mike. Mike, all 